Look at this interior. That wood finish, though. Oh, baby. Cup holders. Yeah, things are looking good. And without further ado, let's get this puppy started. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the episode of Miss Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back, as I'm just this crazy guy carrying a bed throughout the apocalyptic wasteland. Please don't mind me, but uh, we have brought it back to our little home over here, because that's the bed from uh, the uh, kind of like other place we were settling down in beforehand, but we kind of found this much roomier location here that we are going to be calling home for now, and... When we made our way back over there, you know what else we found? I guess recovered all of the engine parts. That's right. We have everything that we need to create, or not create, but I guess totally repair a vehicle of some. Get, get out, get in there, bed. Get in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, bed. Come on, again. totally repair a vehicle of some sort. And that vehicle, oh baby. Oh my god, that bed just bounced. Is going to be a pickup truck that has not a trunk, but a bed. I saw some of y'all pointing that out, but yeah, we are going to go and repair a pickup truck. First things first, let me just put some loot away. And with all that put away, yeah, we are going to be heading back and actually adding something incredibly important in the Miss Survival experience, and that is a vehicle which will increase our range that we can explore. It'll give us the ability to very easily move large quantities of objects, and even in the bed of the truck, we can toss in stuff like furniture, like some of these chests that we have these beds and stuff like that and that's just gonna make it really easier for us to also move into a better and bigger base when we discover one because as much as i love this base there are better and there are definitely bigger i also saw some of y'all commenting down below that apparently some of these vehicles that i can't necessarily loot i can actually scrap by hitting with a crowbar now i don't know if i'm just like looking crazy right now i'm just a crazy guy hitting this thing but nothing appears to be happening Am, am I getting played right now? This car appears to be in complete and total working order. Are we sure that someone someone said the crowbar was supposed to work? I don't think the crowbar's working. <laughs> Maybe it's a different type of car. Maybe I'm using a completely wrong type of weapon. Uh, we do have this machete, though, that we picked up. A very nifty melee weapon. And speaking of nifty melee things, another thing that I want to kind of make sure to keep our eyes on is going to be getting... Where is that shield? Over here, this wooden shield crafted. We do need some nails, first and foremost. And for that, we do need a workbench. Luckily, oh, guess what other piece of furniture we stole from the motel next door? That's right! We found ourselves a bit of a workbench. So things are coming up pretty millhouse. We got a nice little base being established, and... Uh, I mean, once we get that car, we're going to have a very nice little base of operations to base ourselves out of. I just said the word base way too many times and just kind of do all sorts of jazz like that. So we're moving up in the mist world and hopefully we move up to the point where we can. Oh, get back here, bench. Oh, oh, I lost grip. God dang it. And hopefully move up to the point where we can actually attack the nearby raiders because there were literally raiders nearby. They had like an entire camp dedicated to them. And guess what? I don't like loitering in my apocalypse, so... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to ask them to kindly move, and if they don't move, I'm gonna have to ask them to kindly die. I don't know how kind that ask is going to be, though. And hey, this thing fits surprisingly well. Dude, our base is coming along very nicely. I don't think I've ever made something this nice or even this organized, but <laughs> here we got the workbench, and this, as you guys can see, is where nails can be made. And why don't we actually start creating some of those nails and get that shield popping? Because I think we have everything, so. All that we got, dude, what do we need to grab for some nails? Uh, a little bit of components there. We might need to sleep throughout the night as well, because I don't know if y'all know, uh, nighttime gets scary, and it's about to be nighttime, which is why we brought the bed. So I think the game plan is we're going to sleep and then head on over to, uh, whatchamacallit, repair that pickup truck and also go get some more loot that we left behind way back when. But boys and girls, right now, things are looking hype. Oh, I think, is that the sound of nighttime? It might be the sound of nighttime. So, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to craft one set of nails. Uh, yeah, let's craft that for ourselves. We could also assign AI to craft this stuff as time passes, which is pretty interesting. It is pitch dark, so now I sleep. Uh, how long do I want to sleep? Uh, I think eight hours or so ought to be decent. Hopefully no zombies wake me up in my... Oh my god, zombies woke me up and I sleep. Hello, zombies. I can't see a dang thing, so I'm just gonna go back to bed. Please don't wake me up. I'm trying to get my eight hours that pediatricians recommend. Oh, this is going a lot smoother this time around. Although I'm hearing extremely creepy noises. Hey! And daytime is upon us. Lads and lasses, can we, can we please get a round of applause? A huge round of applause. Where are you? For the sun. Please, everyone, round of applause. Smash that like button. Show the sun our appreciation for saving us 
from the zombie apocalypse. And let's not forget that smashing that like button is also the best way of giving me the best luck in the universe. That's right, absolutely no bamboozles at all. Don't know what you're talking about. The harder you smash that like button and the more likes we get, the better luck our luck is in game and the better loot we get. And the, yeah, uh, hit it. <laughs> all right, let's get back to what we were talking about. We got these nails crafted. We just gotta go and grab some little supplies of wood, which we should have right over there. And uh, why don't we go and add something that... This is something new that was added since the last time that I played with our series. The Wooden Shield. We're going to craft that to ourselves. And uh, now we have something interesting. So this is an offhand type of weapon. So I can click the 5. And you guys can see that we actually have a functioning shield. Look at that. Look at that. We can actually block. And in combination with this machete, this is a pretty, like... Pretty lethal looking melee combination. Like, I never had a machete before, I don't think, and let alone this wooden shield that actually lets us, like, block some attacks. Things are gonna be looking nice. And, oh, we can upgrade. Oh, I kind of wanna. Eh, we'll upgrade it in the future. For now, let's not get too sidetracked. For now, we got priorities, and that is to go back and get this pickup truck repaired. And also, I think that there is. Uh, Another thing that we need to grab. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think we have some gas over by where the pickup truck was. Because the pickup truck... Oh, yeah. I'm going to try hitting more of these things and seeing when these cars finally decide to start scrapping themselves. Like, am I just not hitting it enough? I don't know, someone was telling me that I could scrap cars. Guys, have y'all been lied to me in that comment section down below? Or am I just using a completely wrong weapon? Because it might be a little bit of both. Or maybe y'all were just confused. Because I... Definitely big confusion right now. How many times do I got to hit this? God dang it. But uh, yeah, if you guys are enjoying the series and want to see more, definitely let me know by hitting that like button and saying so in that comment section down below. You guys really seem to be enjoying the bejesus out of it so far, which is awesome news because I am definitely enjoying it as well. Hopping back into Miss Survival. Has been, is that a bear? That's the bear. That's, that's the bear. Is that, is that bear stuck in a different tree now? Dude, that bear just, that's freaking Teddy the bear over there. Teddy loves to get stuck in trees, man. We gotta watch out, though. Teddy's also a douche canoe if you get up close and personal, but the pickup truck we're talking about should be right across this lake over here. We've still been, like, relatively close. We haven't explored super far or nothing, but I do remember exploring over here and finding that pickup truck. Or I think my loot might be there. And then down the road, there's that pickup truck I was talking about. But you guys genuinely seem to be enjoying the bejesus out of this series, which is freaking awesome news to me because I've been having a blast with this survival so far. And if you guys are having a blast too, that's just a wooden recipe because it, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just a fun game. Oh, hello. Oh, that's the rock I dropped over there. Oh, is there any poop in here? Ooh, let's not talk about that. But it's just seriously been a fun game to play so far. Definitely been a fun series to start back up. And you guys seem to be enjoying it. And uh, what you recall, I can't wait to like really get into attacking raiders and stuff like that. Because we're still in the early game. We're kind of prioritizing loot and establishing ourselves. But with this car that we're about to get, we're about to be established to a whole new degree. I'm also going to pick up that gun over there. And we can move that. I'm probably going to use the truck to actually pick up that uh, that thing. But for now... I gotta go and find that truck. And I think it's right over there. Ha ha ha, diddly ho there, partner. You are about to be the first vehicle in my, I gotta go grab the gas from over here. You're, you're in, a, in, a, in, a, in a minute or two, you're about to be the first vehicle of my fleet, Mr. I was about to call him a gas tank. No, no, I, I need the gas tank, Mr. Mr. What's the name of that thing? It's. A, a, a pickup truck, Mr. Pickup Truck. You are about to be an honorary member of my stuff. Yes, where I have that gas? There it is. The low grade fuel. We'll put the way. Um, I don't know. I'll put away the oh, burp. Sorry about the burp there. I'll put away the revolver ammo for now, and let's go over. Let's repair this and let's open up probably one of the biggest things you could get because we've been so lucky with our loot. We seriously got all the necessary components. We looted that gas station, which helped a ton. And we're just in a great position right now. Because we can even go and explore further than ever before, too. But uh, please, everyone, I want you guys to look at this before and after photo. Here's the before, right? Now let me just access that hood and toss in absolutely everything. It's going to take a little bit of construction time because uh, you can't just slap all the stuff together and say Minecraft, okay? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not building a car out of blocks or nothing. There are intricate things that I have no idea how they work, but my guy in game knows how they work. And we are bringing this back. It's a greatness. 
hopefully the mist doesn't decide doesn't decide to have a surprise visit and be like muzzle tov we're giving you a welcoming party by uh attacking you <laughs> and giving you all the zombies out and about the mist comes in totally random interval what i cannot put there oh great for oh i derped didn't i oh big derp oh no <laughs> uh we made a bit of a boo-boo i think I might be able to drink the rest of my water and siphon some gas from something else. But that's the wrong type of fuel. Ah! If a letter could ever be a person, I would be just a giant L right now, because that's all that we've taken. <laughs> uh, can I? Can I drink all of this? I'm extremely thirsty, so I might actually drink all that water. Okay, gorgeous. And we got an empty bottle. Can I siphon some fuel from another car nearby? If not, we might need to go on a bit of a looting spree nearby and look for specifically one thing. Guess. Uh, can I do anything over here? Open the hood. Can I please? No, I can't put that in there. Can't put that in there. Can I like empty this? No. Nope. Dude, we don't have. I think we just got to literally find specifically a fuel can. God dang it. <laughs> we played ourselves, boys. We played ourselves, but I mean, the vehicle's repaired. That's the good news. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is just kind of pack up our things and make sure that nothing important. Anything on the bottom? Yeah. Make sure that nothing important is over here. Uh, hello, Mr. Box. Please come, come. Follow me. Follow me. I'm taking you to a new home. Currently, that home's gonna be the back of a truck with no gas, but. Eventually, we'll upgrade that home to my home, and you will give me more storage than ever before. But you guys are gonna see exactly what I'm talking about here. The pickup truck is repaired, and in the bed of the truck, we can literally toss whatever we want, such as, boop, that thing right there. And then, I mean, we can't exactly drive much, right? Because, uh, well, there ain't no gas. Big problem, I know. But we're gonna be able to haul stuff around, toss it in the back, it's just gonna be huge. Now then, I gotta do some exploration, and we gotta find us a gas can or something. Looks like we might have a couple of camps up here that we explore. If the going gets extra tough, we of course do have our shotgun that we could fall back on. There is still this little farmhouse over here. I'm interested by it, but I got a feeling there might be zombies inside. It's a little bit skeptical. For now, let's just continue kind of, let's just look for that fuel can, yeah? Yeah, okay. Oh, we got like a little shelter over here. What is this? A saw machine? I'm gonna try and toss this in the back of the truck as well. <laughs> I don't have this at home, man. Like, we could normally try and craft up all of these workbenches. Actually, what's this one do? Let me try and use it real quick. Uh, just processes wood. It's a glorified wood processor. Well, we need that because apparently, not apparently, eventually, wrong word. We're gonna be able to like chop down. Well, we we can already do it. I just don't want to do it right now. We can chop down these trees, and then the saw machine should be able to help us uh, actually do something with them. So yeah, can I just like, uh, you know, that's looking sketchy, but I'm gonna hope that it works. Might need to reorganize the back of that truck so it doesn't fall out. But that's a bridge we'll cross when we cross the the main bridge over here. Getting some gas. Ugh, it's a struggle. But it's a struggle we're well equipped for. With a shield and a machete, we could really save a good amount of ammo right now. Because, oh, yeah, I'll pick up these. Let's go, logs. Aren't these, like, pretty big in our inventory? Yeah, logs are massive. Oh, we mama. <laughs> yeah, and we're running out of inventory room for them, too. Uh, well, I'll leave the logs in my inventory for now. Worst case, I'll come back for them later. Nothing in here. Except the home we could settle. Uh... I'm not finding no gas canisters. See, uh, I got a feeling. You you got a gas canister on you over here, car? No, that's cool. That's cool, 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 cool. We're in bear territory. Also, cool, 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 cool. Mm. Why don't we make our way back over there? I think the farmhouse might be the move. That's the only thing I can think of at this point. At least that's nearby. There's a ton of cars out front. Yeah, we'll see what this farmhouse is all about. Uh, it's looking sketchy, man. We really gotta see about this. I don't know. Inside of a farm? That seems like prime location. For having some good loot. Hello, farm! 
It is I, your resident goof. I have come seeking one thing. I need some gas. Can you help a brother out? Like, I know that there's other stuff here. But, like, my inventory is kind of full with logs. <laughs> I really just want to find a gas can. <laughs> is that so much to ask? Apparently it is, because I've yet to find one. Do I need to, like, Google where to find a dang gas can? Also, can I, like, parkour up here? Ooh. Well, I could have actually taken the ladder like a civilized person, but I prefer parkour. <laughs> Uh, what is this? <gasps> Yo, let's go! We just found some better armor! I will take it. And I will equip it! Now we just gotta find a vest. Maybe a couple of other things, but long story short. Oh, what's in here? <gasps> do we have gloves yet? I don't know. We don't! Oh, well now we do. Let's shout out on some of this. Uh, I'll probably toss this out the window. So I remember to, uh... Boo uh, what? What? In what universe does that not fit? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, well. I'm just gonna toss that over that way. And hopefully remember. Make our way down to this side. Looks like a ton of soda. But I'm not here for soda. I'm here for a different type of fuel. Not fuel for me. I'm here for fuel. For my vehicular vehicle. Can I not climb? Okay, there we go. I was about to say, good mama. Like, come on, we've climbed much harder things than that. But looting the farm so far? I'm surprised. Lack of enemies. I was 100% expecting some to be hiding out in here. Oh, <gasps> let's go! Oh, I got... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, what do we leave behind? What do we leave behind? I could chop down some logs any old time. I am so sorry, logs, but you got to go. I got some bullets to pick up. I will return to here. No need to worry. No need to sweat. But the big thing is that we got a gas can, which we can now fill up and siphon the gas of other cars with. What is that? Revolver ammo? I'll pick up some more. I still got to build or find a revolver, though. And we got chocolate butter. Well, guess what? I'll come back for all of this jazz because... <gasps> Good times are coming, ladies and gentlemen. We are about to have a fully functional pickup truck in our repertoire. You know what I could do, too, before we head back? I might just kind of stuff this thing with everything that we can. Just kind of toss, toss I'll toss some logs in a briefcase. Could you imagine, like, walking into a courtroom? It's like, I am defending my client here. Open up your briefcase. Just, like, 50 logs pop out. And I got quite the compelling case. <laughs> That'd be freaking goofy. All right, we'll put away a couple of these tools that don't exactly stack and uh, some other stuff that we don't exactly have multiples of at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. And then we'll take this opportunity with our newfound inventory space to collect all the supplies that we can from this little firm. And uh, I don't really know. Like, I, like, there's so many different places we can explore now because once we get this pickup truck built, and establish ourselves with it it's just a whole new world of opportunity no longer do my stubby little legs I gotta run over to where we got loot oh no 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 we're gonna have a car to help us as long as we have gas but with the gas can and all of the cars that we found as you guys have seen there's a lot of cars in the game we can siphon gas out of them so we'll be pretty good this is literally the smoothest start to miss survival ever i feel like i'm getting jebated by the game and you know what? I probably am. Something disastrous is going to happen. It's bound to. In what universe does a train wreck not occur and destroy everything wonderful that I've built? There is no such universe. And if there is, please give me its coordinates so I could like, freaking use Rick's portal gun or something and make my way over there. Because I need it. I need it! Alright, so let's pick up all them colas. Plenty of water there. Although, if I do run low on inventory room from the stuff on the other side, I fully intend on dropping some colas because we could just find some water. Dude, I just struggle with climbing that railing. I don't know why. Oh, oh I thought that was a ladder to another floor. I'm like, oh, there's more? Billy Mays, what are you doing here? Uh, yeah, I might as well pick up the logs for now. Our inventory look full. Um, I think there's a chocolate bar. <gasps> back, 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 dude. 
We are getting so close to having the full dura not durability, but the full inventory sp space room. I can't English. I was saying one of the two. We're, we're getting close though, and that's pretty freaking cool. Um, do I need to eat anything? Do I need to drink anything? Yeah, I'm getting a little bit hungry. I'm a hungry, hungry hippo. I'll eat the snack bar because I think it fills us up less than that food. So I'll eat the snack bar now. Yeah, that thing gave us like almost no hunger. And it will pick up the beef can. And hokey dokey. Oh, we got some tape up in here. Almost missed that. Thinking you could evade me tape. My tape sensors are tingling. I knew. Oh, goodness gracious. This is like tape central. There's just absurd amounts of tape. All right, though. I'm going to pack my bags. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We have a date with greatness. We have a date with this pickup truck of ours. And hopefully uh, all this stuff is gonna fit in the back of this pickup truck. Because for a date, there is quite a lot of junk in this trunk. And I don't know if we were prepared for this much junk in the trunk on our metaphorical date here. Mr. Truck, Mrs. Truck, whichever you want to be, you are looking mighty fine this evening. Are you ready for some gas? Because I got you. I really hope that this stuff does not fall out because it's 100% possible. Oh, hell, goodness. Okay. Boop. Well, uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'm a little bit skeptical. All right. And then I just got to find a nearby car. We should have one over here. We'll take some of that gas out of it. We'll toss it in the R's. And, uh, well, a fully functioning car is right around the corner. Let's fill up the can. I don't know how big or how much, like, uh much gas that this thing can hold but I do intend on making a couple pit stops by some more cars filling it up with more gas etc etc I really hope the stuff in the back doesn't fall out it's looking very sketchy <laughs> very sketchy to say the least like I've never seen levitating dirt in the back of pickup trucks but hey you know it's a good truck what can I say and let's go and fill up the tank still not sure how big it is we're still looking pretty good on all, all of our vitals let's grab that back into our inventory and, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome ye to my marvelous... Oh, look at this interior! That wood finish, though! Oh, baby, cup holders! Yeah, things are looking good. And without further ado, let's get this puppy started. Did that stuff fall out? It's staying! Oh my god, it's actually staying! I cannot believe my eyes! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. DUDE! No way! <laughs> I'm not sure you guys understand. I literally fully expected this stuff to just fly out the back. Oh, happy days, happy days! How about to celebrate? We take this scenic route back to our place and explore this uh, entirely new home, baby. Did, did stuff fall out? I, I just want to make sure here. I'm, I heard a noise. Okay, no, we're still looking good. Yeah, why do we take this scenic route? back to base because I feel like this way should like circle back to where we're trying to go there's like a road up ahead too let's not fall into water that'd be some big bad news bears and yeah I reckon going this way we should come full circle upon our little hut if my sense of direction what is that oh never mind I just did an even smaller circle than I thought <laughs> alright let's uh head on back this way then Okay, maybe I should just make my way back to base before I get lost. Because it's fully looking like I might be getting lost. I have a knack for these things. Uh, is that my house? Oh no, we found it! Oh, let's go, that was way closer than I thought. Woo! And there we go, what's that? Why are there rocks flying? Oh, did I hit those rocks? <laughs> Lol. Okay, so here's what we gotta be careful of though. Uh, no. What we gotta be careful of is that every time we start and stop the engine, there's a couple of benefits to each. If we're going to be driving around a lot, we don't want to stop and start the engine a lot because that actually affects the durability of the spark plug. And we do have a couple of extra spark plugs, so I'm not super worried about it. But it is something that we got to be conscious of and just a little bit careful of. Now, on the other hand, if we leave it running, we also lose the gas out of it. So it's a little bit of a... I mean, if you're not going to be driving it a whole ton immediately, you know, hold off a little bit. But if you are different story but let's go and continue our moving as we just get more and more storage for our base over here let's get this i don't know if i want this like inside or outside yeah, 
Honestly, we could probably have this outside. Like, all it does is chop wood in half. I don't want to get sawdust inside my gorgeous new interior. Like, come on now, bruv. And I'll place that there. And, oh, I got, I got, I got freaking sawdust on my deck, man. Okay, no. Not allowed. You do not litter, Mr. Workbench, on my stuff. There you go. You can put it right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then, dude, this is going to be really cool, too. I don't know. Actually, we might need to have this in our base because what we can do, as you guys saw with this workbench, is that as we craft stuff, we can even assign, like, instead of us having to waste our time or use our time, we can assign settlers to craft this stuff. And also, I can upgrade. Ooh. I can upgrade? Oh, no. I need another gear. Yeah, and once we upgrade, we can get better stuff, too. But, okay. I just kind of want to look through a couple of things here and see what else we could craft. There's a carjack device, a couple of other things on the weapon side. Basic bow and combat knife. Both are looking pretty good. Oh, look at that. It could kill the target in one slice from the back. I forgot the sneak attacks with the combat knife. Fire arrows. I need that. Uh, we got better armor than that. We could do a wall light, but we need energy. And we could upgrade the shield. So I'd say we got a pretty decent path ahead of us, but for now, oh baby. We got a great path in front of us right now. You? Can I put you maybe just right there? Next to this little thing. Hey, very nice. Look at all of this storage, dude. This is just... I, like, you guys don't understand. Throughout our entire... Oh, I think the mist might be coming. Throughout our entire, like, first time we played this like a year ago, I never had a base this nice. I played that... That, that was like a 10 plus part series. We're in like part three. Kind of knowing what we're doing is a huge plus. Oh, I could repair these things too. That might not be a bad idea. I don't know if that affects how the zombies attack us, but I think if we barricade our stuff, that affects the zombies attacking us. And yeah, the mist is rolling in, so might be a good time for us to kind of start backing up off of things and maybe organizing our inventory a little bit too. Eh. Yeah, the noise is changing. Yeah, this mist is here. I'm not trying to step outside. But when I do want to step outside, I don't know. I kind of want to go back, maybe we still got the motel to loot up. Or do we go and explore entirely new areas that we've never explored before? That might be the move right now. But uh, besides that, what I think I'm going to do is just kind of spend a little bit of time, hopefully organize some of this stuff actually so it's not a huge mess <laughs> like last day on Earth. <laughs> and uh, kind of have things organized, kind of tally up how much ammo we got. We got our pistol back, which is huge. And I think if we can find a rifle somewhere, I think we might be about ready-ish to go and uh, attack a raider camp kind of soon. So, fun times are coming. But for now, we hide inside, cower in fear, hope that they can't open the door, and uh, organize some jazz. But with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you next one. See ya.